what's up youtube welcome back to the channel sleepy droopy today we're gonna be looking at a battle styles uh archetype in adp corviknight v max so now before we get into it why corviknight v and v max um basically like corviknight v it's a basic metal pokemon and for one metal energy it does clutch and basically for 30 dam it does 30 damage and depending on what can't reach you during your opponent's next turn and then for metal metal colorless we do sky hurricane for 190 um and can't use sky hurricane next turn it has a weakness of fire and a resistance of grass with one retreat cost and then what we want to do with corviknight is we want to evolve into the corviknight v max and its ability luster body prevents all effects of your opponent's abilities done to this pokemon basically it has a permanent stealthy hood on itself um things like a uh, headbutt tantrum from from Zigzagoon can't hit it. Things like Caratina can't knock off uh, any, any uh, energies that it might have on it. Um, stuff like that. So um, this doesn't go. This doesn't allow uh, Corviknight to go through things like Desi, the uh, Decidueye, uh, because Decidueye you have to think about its ability as kind of like its ability on itself, and it's kind of like a shield. So um, this only prevents effects uh, affecting Corviknight. So if some something tries to affect Corviknight, it doesn't do it. The Sejuai is affecting itself. So in that sense, it doesn't go through it. But we also have G Max Hurricane for two colorless, two metals and a colorless. We do 240 damage, and it can't use G Max Hurricane during our next turn. And again, weakness to fire, resistance to grass, and it has to <laughs> get get this a V Max with zero retreat cost. <laughs> so again let's answer the question for why corviknight feet max it's mainly for these reasons one it has an it has basically an a luster bot it has stealthy hood automatically attached to it um as an ability g max hurricane for two metals and colorless makes it very easy to power up and honestly we could even use the water energies um that we would normally use on our adp to power up this uh corviknight v max to attack with 240 damage and you know after the altered creation g max are we going to do it 270 that's killing every tag team minus uh adp so uh adp's uh kind of game plan becomes a little bit more than just boss boss game uh and the fact that corviknight has such high hp as a v max of 320 damage we don't always have to worry about sending in a Zacian, killing it, hope it doesn't die. Corviknight can live some hits uh, with 320 HP. So we can possibly swing with one single Corviknight to swing the game in our favor. Because So you can think, of, think about it like this. Corviknight comes in, knocks out a tag team for four prizes. They come in, swing us, they don't knock us out. We retreat and then we switch and boom we knock out whatever and that's game so it helps adp's game plan go a lot smoother because they don't just have to we don't have adp doesn't need to have boss every single turn um and go around things like v maxes or even like or even uh tag teams it can one one shot tag teams and it can go up against other v maxes uh the corvinate if it needs to because it can take a hit, whereas the, um, the Zashin most likely is going down. Now you do get an extra prize for that extra HP, but again, it has more HP, so a lot of the time you can just go ahead and swing with it very hard. So, so now, now that we explained why Corviknight, let's go ahead and get into the actual deck profile. We're gonna start off with the Pokemon. We're playing a 2-2 line of Corviknight V, Cor Corviknight V Max. And then we're gonna play the standard uh, two ADP G, uh, ADP GXs. And then we're gonna we're still gonna be playing Zashian in the deck. Zashian is still a good card, so we still want to have two Zashians in the deck for Trepid Sword, allowing us to draw cards. And honestly, it can power itself up, so why not? Then we also have Mawile GX, Captivating Wink is just such a strong ability. Being able to just play Mawile and get our Pokemon to get our opponent's support Pokemon on a bench. And, and if we need to go a Zashin route to attack, why not? And then also just having a two energy Wily Bite attack. Um, it, it, it's 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 nice to have a two energy attack when we need to. Um, so yeah, it's just a nice little flexible card, Mawile GX. You could change this 
make it a third, third like a third Sashian possibly if you really wanted to but I still think the Mawile GX is good and then we're gonna go on to our support Pokemon and that's just two Dedanes Dedane just uh, it's an aggressive draw Pokemon discarding our hand drawing six and then we're gonna be playing one Eldegoss again we're gonna be aggressively drawing through the deck through the deck with this uh through the deck with a lot of our supporters the Dedanes and everything so sometimes we'll get rid of like bosses that we might need so an Eldegoss, Eldegoss can retreat it in the late game and give us the win that we need and then we're also going to go ahead and play one Crobat V Dark Assist allows us to draw up back to six cards um so basically if we play down a Crobat we can draw six cards uh, uh at most six cards and that's good you know because again we just want to dig with this deck and just be able to attack 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 and boss when we need to uh, standard support line for ADP, which is playing four research, one Marnie, and four boss. Again, we still are an ADP Z mainly deck, so we want to have that boss ready when we need to, possibly to get out a tag team or get get a support Pokemon that we can easily take out. So now on to our item cards. We're playing four quick balls, uh, mainly just help us get out our ADP, any other bases we might need, a Zashin, Mowile, any Pokemon we may need. Two Cherish Balls allows us to get the Dene's and also um, ADPs fairly quickly early in the game. Get our ADP on the bench and get it going. Then we're also playing two Pokecoms, two Pokecoms to be able to get our uh, Corviknight V Max and evolve uh, evolve our Corviknight V on the benches or in the active, whatever, wherever it is. Then we're playing four switches uh we still want to be mobile with the deck because both both zashian and corvin iv max can't use their attack unless they go onto the bench again so we still want to have a lot of switches even even if corvinite does have free retreat we still want to have those switches so that we can retreat and then switch back into it if we need to um so then we have three energy spinners. This allows just gives us a lot of energy out to be able to search for metal energy, water energy um, quickly. And then we have four energy switches. We, we want to get that altered creation off as quick as possible. If at best turn two going second, no turn one going second. So we want to have that option and just be able to get altered creation off. Great catcher gives us a little bit more flexibility to be able to use our draw supporter and possibly gust up a like the Dene or something else on the bench. Then we're playing two air balloon again, giving us that mobility. Um, just in case we have something in the active, um, such as a Zashin that we don't want, so we can attach air balloon retreat and attack with something else. And then two interesting that I'm gonna try out is two experience shares. Two experience shares. Um, my main thought process in the experience share are we place them on our Corviknight or even our uh, Zashin if we need to. And then um, let's say our ADP gets knocked out before we're able to ultimate ray. We can use experience ray to grab the energy off of um, the ADP and put them onto our attackers as we need so that we don't waste that energy. Now I understand that tool scrapper is a big card, but you know, who knows, maybe tool scrapper won't be played as much and also a lot of decks play one two at max and two is rare so sometimes like having that tool scrapper in their hand at the exact time they need it will be difficult for them so i think extreme share could be a good card and even if we don't use it early in the game with the adp we can still use it if we think we can attack with the zashin if we think they're gonna knock out the zashin Boom, attach an extreme share on another Zashin or another uh Corbinite VMAX. And boom, we're pulling energy to some to uh we're we're not we're we don't need to use a saw so to get that to reuse that energy. That energy is just going back to another attacker. And speaking of metal saucer, we go ahead and round out the deck with four metal saucers. It's a metal type deck, so why not use metal saucers? And then to round out the deck, we're playing eight energies and two waters energy. Standard ADP count. We don't need any more, any more, any less. Um, Corviknight attacks for the same amount of energy as a Zashian, so this should be enough energy for the deck. So, uh, but yeah, that's it for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that content. Feel free to leave a like down below, leave a like on the video, leave a subscription as well, and also leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the deck. And also let me know what you guys think about the channel, any other improvements that I could make. So I hope you guys have a good day and peace.